Hello, welcome to day two of our three day sneak peek into what this coaching thing is all about. Um, thank you all for being here. Okay, today, yesterday we talked about kind of like sort of just the details and um, kind of how it all works. So today I want to get kind of more into the why we love what we do and as coaches and um, kind of give you more of an insight into um, what we do and why we love it and so you can see if any of this relates to you to see if you think this might be something that could kind of tug at your heartstrings and something you could be passionate about. So um, I want to talk about what makes this company different and um, why it's special to the coaches who join. Okay, so, um, and reasons why you might want to do it. I just said that. Um, so here's some questions I want you to ask yourself. Do you, are you feeling like you need some sort of creative outlet? Um, like, is your job, whatever job you do, and I'd love to know what you guys do. Comment below, tell me. What, like when you're at your job, do you just feel like you're not really living out your purpose and potential? Do you feel like there's more that you want to do or that you're kind of being like um, boxed in and you're not really able to um, get your creative juices and have a creative outlet? Um, if that's you, remember that because um, what I'm going to talk about, you, you should be able to realize that this could be a really awesome creative outlet for you, this um, coaching opportunity. So um, ask yourself that question. And then ask yourself, are you feeling like you kind of want a hobby? And for me personally, that was a real draw for me. There were two real draws for me. Um, well, three were, there was a lot of draws for me. <laughs> But I definitely, I had took up gardening. My youngest was about, I think it was two when I started with Beachbody. And I had taken up gardening and I was really enjoying gardening. And I started to get back into photography, which was another hobby of mine that I had before having all these kids. And um, I still just felt like I wanted something else. Like I needed something for me and you know how that feels as moms if you're a mom like comment below if you understand I just felt like you know I was spending so much time taking care of the kids and the family and I was just like missing something for me so this uh, uh, um, your role as a beach body coach can really fill that need for like a hobby or something to do on the side that you can really dive into and fall in love with and um, feel like you have a sense of purpose. Like that was also a huge draw for me. I really felt for the first time since quitting nursing um, to have to stay home with the kids, I really finally felt like I had a purpose again. And I will say this too, as I started helping people and getting those messages, I mean, there's nothing more fulfilling and gratifying than being out with your friends or just sitting on the couch with your family and all of a sudden getting a text message that says, oh my gosh, I just got on the scale and I lost five pounds. I couldn't have done this without you in the group. Thank you so much. Like getting those kind of messages is it just fills your heart up and you feel like a real sense of purpose. Like you're really making a difference in people's lives and you are that. So that goes back to that. That is why this company is so special versus just, you know, some other working for some other company. We, this company believes its core mission is to help people live healthy and fulfilling lives. Our CEO, Carl Deichler, um, that's what he always talks about, that his main goal for starting this whole thing is to fight the obesity epidemic in the United States, and we're in Canada now as well. Um, 
But that is the core mission, and it is so fulfilling to know that you are making a difference. You are, as a coach, you are touching lives every day. And even if they don't sign up with you and get a challenge pack and join your group, if you're out there telling people what you're doing and showing your workout and your posts and saying how you got all your superfoods in with your shake or whatever. I mean, not all the time. Like, we'll get into that. You don't want to, like, blast a beach body all over your page. You don't want to blast beach body at all. You just want to share your life and what you're doing and how you're feeling. And you're feeling so much better and you're, you know, feeling healthy and whatever. You want to do that. Um, but that's for later. But anyway, back to my point. Um... The mission of that, especially as nurses, I know there's a lot of nurses in here, and I love you. Nurses are so awesome. And as that core personality of nurses and doctors and medical people, we want to help people. We care. We want to feel like we are making a difference. So that's why I think this job, whether it be just a side job for you, something you roll into your nursing career, or if your goal is, if you're like stressed out with the nursing schedules and you have kids at home and you are you're start you're thinking about having kids and you really want to be at home with them, this job is perfect for you because it you still you still have that awesome feeling of making a difference in people's lives and helping people get basically live the mission live healthy and fulfilling lives. Um, and, oh, I lost my thought. I was going to say something else the other day. Oh, I always do that. I hate that. I don't take enough notes when I talk. I just get on here and start talking. Um, so, anyway, that's awesome to be able to have that feeling of um, knowing you're making a difference in people's lives. So, that's what makes it special. And also, the, a sense of community. This also really appealed to me when I first got started. I was a stay-at-home mom. Um, I We had just moved to a new city, and I knew no one. I knew my realtor, and that was it. And I really wasn't online that much. Um, when I started, I had like 170 friends on Facebook, I think. Um, no Instagram, no Pinterest, you know, no YouTube channel. Like, I had no social media going on except for my Facebook, which brings me to a good point. That's another huge question. People are like, I don't have a thousand followers. I don't have any social. It doesn't matter. You, We all start from the beginning. You build that as you go. Um, so anyway, if, that's, if you're worried about that, don't worry about that. Um, and we'll, as part of our trainings and what I train you on and what all the trainings we have available, we teach you how to start growing your network and um, adding more friends and all that stuff. So that's in the training. Don't worry about that. But anyway, <clears throat> when you um, sign up and you become a Beachbody coach, there is a huge community. You know how I said like the Beachbody coach opportunity is sort of the secret little thing? Well, wait till you sign up. There is this huge community of all of these like-minded, positive, healthy, or trying to get healthy. There's a lot of people struggling, and they are Beachbody coaches too. They actually, the people who struggle and are struggling and are just starting their journey, I'm not kidding. They are some of the most successful coaches because they are struggling and people relate to you. When you are going through the struggle with them, they want to join you. They want to go through it together with you. So that's another big question. If you're worried about not already being in shape, you're you're actually probably better off that you're not better in shape as a beach body coach because people want to join with you and go through the journey with you. So um, anyway, back to the community. So the sense of community in the beach body, the beach body culture, I call it, is so crazy awesome. So first of all, when you sign up, you I have a team page. Um, and you get, you're a part of that. And I post stuff all the time about training and calls and things that you can be a part of, of our bigger team. So you get to be a part of that. And then there's another group that has like, I don't even know, thousands of Beachbody coaches in there where you're throwing around ideas and talking back and forth about experiences or customer comments or questions and stuff like that. Um, 
And then you have your own groups if you want to run your groups. And so, I mean, it doesn't need to overwhelm you, of course. You can just be a part of my team page and that's it if you want. Or, but I'm just saying there's such a large community of all these beach body coaches who are like talking about personal development and positivity and working out and health and we share all the resources. There's paleo groups and thyroid groups and clean eating and personal development stuff. I mean, there's just, it's, you instantly have like a ton of online friends and communities to be a part of. So that to me is crazy awesome. And like I, back to my original point, as a stay at home mom, um, in a new city, I was lonely and you know I was kind of lonely and I wasn't really wanting to like drag all my kids to the park every day to try to meet people I just um I'm not really that kind of person I'm actually a huge introvert which is another question I get a lot can you do this if you are an introvert yes like actually introverts make some of the best coaches too because we don't mind um, we love social media. Like most introverts love social media because we'd rather like be on our phone or behind the computer screen than be out at parties or whatever. So yes, introverts make awesome coaches. Awesome. Awesome. And, um, you know, you may want to do, you may need to go through some personal development where you become, and I have some really good book recommendations that I've read that help you become more comfortable with being vulnerable and sharing your story and your pictures and things online. Um, there's a lot of personal development behind that. And one of the main points behind that is um, you have to realize that it's not about you. It's about everyone else. And if you sharing your little snippets of your life or, or journey can touch another life and help them and you won't realize that right away until you start getting messages from people. You'll start getting feedback and people will say like, oh, you're so, you're such an inspiration. Thank you so much for sharing that. Or I love your post. It's the bright spot of my day or, you know, stuff like that. So you, you might not believe it at first, but you will because you'll start getting messages like that and you'll realize like, huh, wow, I really am like touching people's lives and making a difference. This is so cool. Um, so anyway, I went off on a tangent again, but that's, so the community piece. Um, so basically, that's kind of what I wanted to get in today because yesterday was more like details, details, and today I wanted to get into the heart of it, like why as coaches we feel it's the best job in the world, and that, I think I explained it pretty good, that's why. Um, and think of it, like there are a ton of resources um, out there. Like people can go into Walmart and get DVDs and all the weight loss shakes and pills and all this. And they do like people do, you know, the weight loss industry is the hugest industry. Um, one of the hugest industries for sales and buying in the U S. Um, so people do, they buy all kinds of stuff to lose those 10 pounds and they do that. And, um, so my point is the missing piece for most people, well, <laughs> totally random. So they buy all that stuff and then they fail. That's what I was trying to say. They buy all that stuff. They have good intentions. They say they're going to make a difference. They they it's they have good intentions in their mind. They bring it home. They might like take two pills for a week, whatever. Do like a couple exercises and then they fail. Do you know why they fail? Why do they fail? This is why they fail because they're missing the accountability and support piece. And that is what coaches do. That is what we provide. And that is why Beachbody is such an awesome company too, because they have all three, they have all three of the components to get people success. And that is, that's why that was Carl Deichler's mission. We have the fitness, the workout programs, we have the nutrition, Shakeology, the superfood shake with protein and probiotics and vegetables and all the stuff your body needs to actually function on the high, um, high level, the highest level that it needs to do its work, which helps people lose weight, cut cravings, all that stuff. So you get the nutrition in, 
and then you, the coach, the support. So there's the three pieces, the fitness, the nutrition, and the support. That And the support is the main piece that people are missing, and that's why they fail. So that is your job as a coach. You just add that support piece, and that is what is getting so many people results. And I think probably what I need to do tomorrow, I'm going to do a little... Um, I'm going to try to put a slide share together. Do I have one? And um, we'll kind of go through some results. And I'm going to paste, post a couple of videos later so you can see results and um, programs and stuff like that, if you're not familiar already. So um, so anyway, the, that is the heart of coaching. That is what you provide as a coach, is the support piece. And that is what is so fun to all of us coaches, is people appreciate you. They love being a part of your groups. They feel the accountability. They know they need it. They know they want it. And they enjoy it. And it helps them get success. And then they then they really, <laughs> then they really love you. Because finally, after 10 years, they will lose that five pounds. They will lose that 40 pounds. They will lose 150 pounds. I mean, we have some amazing success stories. And a huge part of that, fin finally getting success for them, is having a coach, you. So that's the scoop. So that's day two. And um, I'll be posting some other stuff throughout today. Um, and then we'll talk tomorrow. Bye, guys. Have a great day.